I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. It is so good to be with you today. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I greet you in the name above all names. Yes, that's right. It is the name of Jesus. And it's so good to be with you today on another day that God has given us by His grace. And by that special and wonderful grace, we will keep on going. It is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ that we are saved. And it is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ that we receive blessing after blessing. And it is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ that we receive reconciliation back to God. So my dear friend, even today, open your heart up to the grace of God and let God begin to touch you. By faith, God will touch you and he'll take you up to a greater glory. Now, I want to speak to you about faith. It is so important that we understand and we believe. As born-again believers, the Lord said, My people perish because of a lack of knowledge. So it's so important that we understand and we believe. Furthermore, I want to tell you, my dear friend, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And I want to show you from the Bible. In order for you to believe and receive from God, you need to have faith. You need to have faith that God can do what you are praying for Him to do. Many people pray, but they don't have faith. And the reason why you can tell that they don't have faith is because after they pray, they continue worrying. If you pray and you have faith, the moment you finish praying, you won't worry anymore. And that is how you know whether you have faith or you don't have faith. That's the simple way to check. If you pray and you are still worrying after you prayed, that shows that you don't have faith that those prayers will work. But if you have faith that those prayers will work, then after you have prayed to God and you've said in Jesus' name, Amen and Amen, then it is a done deal and that's the end of it all. God said it, I believe it and that settles it. That's how it is. You know, my dear friend, we are living in a time when we need to develop such a faith. We need to develop such a boldness. We need to develop such a tenacity in Christ that we don't back down, we don't give in, but we believe despite all odds. That we believe in our God to deliver us from whatever situation that can come our way. And in this lifetime, there are times when things can happen that will shock you. There are things that can happen that will shake you. But as you believe in God and as you hold on to Jesus, He will be your anchor and He will see you through. I've seen people who have gone through horrific things. I've seen people, entrepreneurs, who work overtime just to feed their families. They work as hard as possible and they pray and they trust God and God comes through for them. God supplies just what they need just in time so that they make it through. And I tell you, my dear friend, if you are in that situation, God will supply all that you need just in time and you will make it through. But today we're talking about faith. And I read some of these scriptures yesterday on the Monday Prophetic Word, but the Lord has led me to read them once again. And I trust, know and believe it will bless you. So the first reading is from the book of Hebrews chapter 11 from verse 1 to verse 8. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and through it, he being dead still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. By faith Noah, being divinely warned of the things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. 
Furthermore, it goes on and it says, By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Now, I want to read that one more time and I want to highlight certain parts. The first part of this passage of scripture says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. My dear friend, without faith, you cannot receive those things which you are hoping for. It is important that you have faith. And we see this in the patriarchs. We see this through the many famous and well-known names in the Bible. They all had faith. And it is through that faith that God accredited them and God took them to the places that they went. It is through that faith that they received what they received. It goes on and it says, For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. And that is what I mean. By faith the elders obtained a good testimony. It says, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. It goes on and it says, By faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain through which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and through it he being dead still speaks. It goes on and it says, and I want to read this out loud to you, my dear friend, By faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death, and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Now, my dear friend, there is something that stands out to me over here. How did Enoch please God? It goes on and it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So Enoch pleased God by being a man of faith, a man of incredible faith, a man who believed God so much so, that he didn't even taste death. God took him because he pleased God. He pleased God so much that God blessed him with such a blessing that he didn't taste death. He was blessed. It says, By faith Noah, being divinely warned of the things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. Last but not least, it says, By faith Abraham obeyed, and when he was called to go out to a place which he would receive as an inheritance, and he went out not knowing where he was going. Now, my dear friend, I want to say something. Abraham is great. His name is great. God made him into a great nation. God multiplied and blessed him. But had he not acted in faith, had he not moved in faith, he would not have been blessed. Had he not listened to God and gone to a place that he was not yet sure of where he was going, he was just following God and God was saying, come on, continue going. I'm going to take you to a place and that place is yours. That is the promised land. This is why it says over here, if I can read that last part once again, it says, by faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Abraham went out not knowing where he was going, but he went out in faith. And because of that, he was blessed so much. God made him a great nation. God blessed him. God blessed all of his household. Even his animals were blessed. Everything concerning Abraham was blessed. Even to this day, the name of Abraham is blessed because he had faith in God. Now, the Bible goes on and it says in the book of James chapter 1 from verse 6 to verse 7, it says, But let him ask in faith, without doubting. For he who doubts is like the wave of a sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. My dear friend, when you ask God for something, ask and believe. Ask and believe that you have already received it. Believe as though it's already done. Let me show you. The Bible actually shows us that this is the way to have faith. The Bible says in the Gospel of Mark chapter 11 verse 24, And these things are plain to everyone who wants to know. If you want to know the secrets of the Word of God, simply ask the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit of God, show me the secrets so that I can know, so that I can go to a greater glory. And He will. He will gladly show you the deeper things of God. 
because you as a born again believer have the Holy Spirit. Now the Bible says in the Gospel of Mark chapter 11 verse 24, it says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Believe that you receive them and you will have them. Believe that you've already received them. And furthermore, my dear friend, even our salvation that we receive in Christ is by faith. We are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. It is by the full, complete and finished work of the cross that we are saved, that we are reconciled back to God. It is not our good works. Some people think I'm doing good. I'm a good person. I, I do good to people around me. So surely I'm going to go to heaven. I'm going to be with God. But that is not the way to heaven. That is not the divine criteria that is needed in order for you to go to heaven. The divine criteria that is needed is faith in Jesus Christ. This is why we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus. Today, my dear friend, as we pray, I trust, know and believe your faith will be boosted and God is going to do amazing things. The key to believing and receiving is believe as though you have already received it. Are you trusting God for a car? Say, Father, thank you for my car. Are you trusting God for that business to go up and for the figures to change? Maybe you're not making a profit at the moment. Say, Father, thank you for the divine profits that are coming my way. If you are working in a certain job and you're trusting God for promotion, start to thank God for that job in advance. Thank Him for that promotion. If you don't have a job, if you're currently unemployed and you're trusting God for a job, thank God for a good job. Thank Him now, in faith. Thank Him and prepare every morning. Wake up early in the morning as though you're going to work and prepare. Don't just stay there and sleep and keep quiet and wait for something to happen. But have faith. Act in faith and you will see divine things happen. In saying that, let's go into a time of prayer. Take yourself in a device wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, You are our God and we praise You. We thank You for Your grace. We thank You for Your mercy that is released to us today. And even today, we choose to seek You. We choose to press in. We give you praise and thank you that you've given us another day that we can seek you, that another day that we can live to the fullest, another day that we can do what you've called us to do. It is another opportunity to live to the fullest. And we are going to do just that. Both myself and my dear friend, we are going to live to the fullest. Father, I give you praise as you bless and touch and change my dear friend's life and take my dear friend to a greater glory. I give you praise even as you take my dear friend where my dear friend needs to be in you. Father, I give you praise even as today you've given my dear friend another opportunity and another chance. And I give you praise as you boost and lift my dear friend's faith to a greater glory, to a greater altitude, to a greater level. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know like I know as we pray, God is going to bless you and He is going to take you to a greater glory. So in saying that, let us begin. We're going to go into a time of prayer. And even as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is welcome the Holy Spirit. Just lift up your hands and just freely say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, take over control. Touch me, heal me, change me and show me the secrets in the Word of God. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I just pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is, distance is not a barrier. Let your power and let this anointing begin to touch them. Let this anointing that speaks and lives and moves, this anointing and power that is available in the name of Jesus to all who believe, let it begin to touch my dear friend. And Father, right now, let my dear friend's faith be boosted divinely. Let my dear friend receive the gift of faith. Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video to receive 
the gift of faith. Even right now, let my dear friend receive so that my dear friend can believe for divine things. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Father, that you will intervene divinely in whatever situation my dear friend is going through. Wherever there is a trial and a trying time and things are going the wrong way, by faith, right now, the faith that you've released to my dear friend, let my dear friend begin to see a divine turnaround. Let my dear friend begin to see a change that is needed. I pray this in Jesus' name. Father, right now, by faith, do what only you can do. If my dear friend is trusting you for a divine healing in their body, let a divine healing take place. And let my dear friend go up and not down. Let my dear friend experience the promotion that the living God can give. Father, even today as we seek you, let your power be manifest. Let your power be made known to my dear friend so that my dear friend will know, surely there is a God, he speaks and he lives. And Father, by faith, even as your word has been released, let something mighty happen in my dear friend's life, in my dear friend's job, in my dear friend's workplace, in my dear friend's career, in my dear friend's business, in my dear friend's family, something amazing, something wonderful. And I pray for peace around the world, Lord. I pray for America, even as they prepare for elections that are coming up soon. Father, I pray for peace before and after the elections in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear friend, wherever you are, whatever country you're from, agree with me. We need peace around the world. Not fighting, not division. We need peace. Father, we pray for peace in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I bless you with a blessing that you will go up and not come down. That doors of favor and blessing will open for you wherever you go. May you be favored wherever you go. May you walk with the favor of God in the name of Jesus. And wherever there is any situation that is pulling you down, may that situation turn around right now for you better. If your health is going down and it's not getting better, you're getting sick, May there be a divine turnaround in the name of Jesus. And may you get better and may the doctors be dumbfounded. May they watch and see and say, Surely the God that you serve is alive and he has healed you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. And may you be able to testify to them boldly through faith that it is Jesus. It is Jesus. He has healed me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, until tomorrow, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.